Well, it's an outrageous incident against a woman that will make your blood boil. But now witnessed a horror show on Thursday when a bunch of men beat up a woman and then virtually stripped her in full public view. Worse still, it all happened in broad daylight on one of the city's busiest roads near Gandhi Medan. Not a single man in the entire crowd dared intervene and if that wasn't enough, the police arrived half an hour late, watched the show for another hour before taking the culprits to the police station. The woman was humiliated as she was taken in a cycle rickshaw as a bunch of men followed a shameful spectacle right on the streets of Patna. The men then stopped and began to push her around near Apsara cinema. It was around 5.30 p.m. when a movie had just finished. The crowd from the theatre kept swelling by the minute and everyone watched as mute spectators. It all got uh, worse a few moments later as the crowd watched the woman being molested and then stripped in public view. It was a free-for-all. It also appeared that some men in the crowd joined in, humiliating the woman. And then after watching the entire show for one hour, police arrested the men. But at the police station, the cops allegedly humiliated the woman, saying it was her fault. She was allowed to leave only two hours later. Now, the woman has told the police that she has been lured to Patna by a certain man. She was taken to a hotel where she ran away after the men and his friends tried to rape her. To add insult to injury, the men told police that the woman was a sex worker and had tried to entice them. She was back and she had given her a job. And yesterday, Puna came to Patna. In Patna, Rakesh said that she had a job. But the truth is that there is a Bob Hotel. There is a job for this woman. There is a job for this woman. बुलाए थे गलत नियत से And we spoke to Girija Vyas, chairperson of the National Women Rights Commission, who demanded that Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar take action in the case. No, that's why I told you that is awful. And our civil society, what they do, there is a big question that either they watch it. Or they become the part and parcel to just uh, um, uh, take their event also for a lady uh, for unnecessary reason. I already written a letter to the uh, commissioner that I want the detailed report, and I'm writing to the chief minister also that he should take care of about all these things, and there should be severe punishment to that fellow and others who were watching and who they were the part and parcel of that episode. The NCW has to uh, get into this uh, whole thing and I'm sure a delegation will go and visit Bihar government and they will definitely, they are going to talk to Girija ji about it and I'm sure the, the delegation will visit and pressurize Bihar government to take action. Chief Minister very casually has said there will be inquiries set up in the matter. What is there to inquire? Inquiries after inquiry, inquiries normally are to let the people go out of the net and that is what these inquiries have become. So I think it's important to see uh, the people who are really pushing her, pulling her. It's all available on the, uh, you know, the media which took the whole scene, um, uh, recorded the whole thing. I think they should review that, get all those people, arrest them and punish them. And we also spoke to senior Congress leader and former Women's Development Minister Renuka Chaudhary who also expressed outrage over the incident. If only we ensured that the existing laws apply and that nobody can escape it, that itself would be a great deterrent before we go looking into making new laws. There has to be a societal reaction that should be invoked. I don't know what the NGOs are doing because they should be up in arms against such things. And a, a woman's right to her self-respect and dignity, irrespective of what trade she's in, that's nobody's business. Every citizen has a right.